Wait, ATCS Monitor is now available for my area? We gotta check that out. Chasing trains can involve several valuable tools, or it can be as simple as going trackside and waiting for something to come your way. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the tools I use to help me video trains along a track that isn't used very often. In this case, going trackside to wait for something can be a total waste of time, but if you know something is coming your way, you can plan accordingly. On March 9th, 2021, an exciting thing happened. The Boleyn Yard and most of the New Mexico Railrunner trackage was added to the ATCS database. ATCS, or Advanced Train Control System signals, are found in the USA and are used for things like communication between trains, rail configuration data, train location data, speed enforcement, fuel monitoring, train diagnostics, and general instructions and messages. ATCS Monitor can be downloaded from the groups.io ATCS Monitor group. The link is provided in the description below. You need to request to become a member of the group before you can download the installation kit and data files. It's beyond the scope of this video to go through the installation, but there are several tutorials on YouTube on how to install it. Again, the link is provided in the description. While ATCS won't work on my phone, I access it through TeamViewer, which I've installed on my desktop. Using the app on my phone, I can access my desktop from a remote location and view the ATCS display. Now I can see what's coming my way. The other tool that I use is my Bearcat 125 AT scanner. I've programmed a lot of the railroad, aviation, and EMS frequencies into the database, but the frequency I want from my local area is 160.41, which I've labeled NMRX. This is the frequency used between Isleta, New Mexico and Lamy. Monitoring this frequency will let me know when dispatch issues track warrants, trains give up their track warrants or other communication that lets me know if something is happening. In our case today, I'm listening to the scanner trackside, hoping to catch the Rosario train, which takes asphalt north to the plant between Albuquerque and Santa Fe. I stop for an iced tea at the Burger King, which is on Lomas Boulevard next to the tracks. Um, I'll have a medium iced tea, please. Medium iced tea, iced tea, what else? That's it. 247. Thanks. However, I hear... All right, you got permission to change ETB 1696-1696. Now read the BNSF 7774. 7774. That's correct, Daryl. I'm going to be taking a train here in about 20, 30 minutes. you want to move on that over? which lets me know the transfer is about to depart South Albuquerque and head to Boleyn. This will be more interesting than the asphalt train, so I head south through downtown Albuquerque. On the way, I see BNSF 7774 moving as light power, so I know I have plenty of time to get in a good position to catch the train. There's a break in the fence along Bates Road, where there's a signal at 909.1. After checking ATCS, I see that a train is headed towards Rio Bravo. A few minutes later it passes that signal and I know that I will see its light in a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. 